Hello viewers, you are welcome to Inky Culture channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a six-piece skirt using a freehand method. And this type of method is faster, I think it's faster and smarter. So to cut this um, six-piece six skirt, I used two and a half yards of Ankara fabric. I used two and a half yards of Ankara fabric. So you are going to fold into four. So, first of all, fold into two. I first of all folded it into two, later fold it into four, like so. So, as you can see, I folded the whole two and a half yards at a time. I folded it into four at a time. So, if you are not new to sewing, you will be familiar with this. So, this is the zipper. I'm touching the zipper allowance. And that's the center front. So having done that, the measurements needed. You need the nipple to nipple measurement. That's end to end. The nipple to nipple measurement is 8 inches. The waist circumference, the hip length. That's you place your tape measure from your waist to down to the hip. The hip circumference, the skirt length, the skirt half length. And from there, I drew out this. And this is the panels of the skirt. This is how it will be. We are familiar with six pieces skirt, so you are familiar with this. So I will be cutting the center front and the center back first. So I'll chalk now. I'll chalk the center front and the center back together now using the nipple to nipple measurement. And the nipple to nipple measurement will be divided into two, so giving me four inches. Then you know it's a panel skirt, so consider half inches that will be added to it to join the panels together so that four inches will be measured here now so this measurement i'm taking now is for the center back and the center front panel but before i do that i'll first of all take the skirt length measurement which is 42 inches in this case this is 42 inches i want to use this skirt as a dress so i will be attaching it to the upper bodies later but that does not concern you now we want to talk about the skirt so right away i will take the skirt length and the skirt length is 42 inches i'm going to add um the hemming allowance of one inch and joining allowance of half inch to it making 43 and a half inches so i will take 43 and a half inches down so you can see that i'm taking it to the to the to the hem line of the ankara fabric so 43 inches down so I'll be taking it from where my tape starts from, as you can see. That's the length of the skirt. And I'll be taking the center front that I want to cut first. The center front and the center back. I'm using the nipple to nipple measurement with half inch sewing allowance to join the panels together. So I'm taking four and a half inches. So the next thing to take is the skirt half length. Where I'll begin, where my, I'll, I'll chalk out the the, the um, shape of the panels so i'm going to take the skirt half length this is where the shape of the skirt will start to come out to form a funnel shape so you will understand that as we go so i'm still going to take that four and a half there so i'm going to connect that on a straight line four and a half all through to the waistline four and a half all through to the waistline consider we are cutting the center back and the center front together so connect it with a straight ruler i'm trying to shape the skirt the panels of the skirt now so you know this is a six pieces skirt it will be on the on the m line it will be wider so it will be as wide as 10 inches so that when i open one panel up it will be 20 inches wide on the m line do you get that and we have six panels so i will have 120 inches all together for the hemline circumference so i'll be taking i'll i'll, I'll connect this to the hemline to form the shape of the six pieces skirt on the hemline as you can see just connect it with your straight ruler from the half length measurement so right now the next thing to do is to cut to use this other remaining part to cut the side panels one two three four the four panels by the side i will be using this part to cut it so 
on the M line, this is the M line for the side panels. You know, we are not using this other side. If you have used this other side for the M line of the center back and center front, then you use the, the this part for the M line of the side panels. So the M line will not be on the same page, on the same line. So whatever you have here, divide the M line into two. Divide the measurement that is there into two and chalk it up just to make sure you centralize your measurement. That's the essence of doing this. So when you chalk it up, take your thick measure and take the skirt length measurement. And the skirt length measurement, the way we did for the center back and the center front, is 43 and a half. And that is what I have done here. So the next thing to do is to know the measurement you will calculate for your waist. So because we are having the waist panels the side panels now the waist circumference is 36 inches dividing it by four i have nine and for the center panels we have used four inches can you remember that so you subtract four from nine then you will have five so five will be remaining for the side panels five inches will be remaining to be able to cut the the side panels so with the sewing allowance and the you, with the joining allowance and the sewing allowance, I have 2 inches for the joining allowance and sewing allowance. Adding 2 inches to the 5 inches remaining will give me 7. So on the waistline, the side panels, the side panels on the waistline will be 7 inches. 7 inches. So you will take the 7 inches by centralizing it the way it is, the way I chalk it. So after chalking, after marking the 7 inches like so, you take the hip line also. The hip is hip 44. Divided by 4 will give me 11 inches. Since I have taken 4 inches here, I will deduct that 4 inches from the 11. And I will have 7. So 7 inches will be remaining for me for the side panels. So I'm going to take that 7 inches and I will add allowance. Allowance of 2 inches will be enough for me for the joining allowance and the side seam. So... I will have for the hip area on the side panel, the hip area I will have 9 inches now, 9 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure 9 inches, 9 inches. So right now this is the hip length, you, where the hip falls is 11 and a half. So on that line, I will go ahead and measure 9 inches out. And this is the way I'll measure it. Whatever is here from here from that place to that place, from here to here is three and a half. I'll measure that same three and a half here. You know, on that waistline we have seven. So that I will have a straight line up towards the waistline. That's why I'm taking the same measurement that is on the waistline from the center line. So I'll chalk it up by a straight line, then take the remaining measurement, which is nine inches. The way I place your, my tape measure, just place it and you'll be able to get it. So I'll chalk my 9 inches out so that the hip area will show. So this is the hip area. You can see the hip is coffee right away. You know where your hip is on your side panel. So just chalk it out like so with your hip cuff. So the next thing is to take my straight ruler and measure where that... Um, funnel shape will come out so and that will be on my skirt half length so placing it starting from the waistline on the side panels also i'll place my tape measure and measure 22 inches which is for the skirt half length to know where my shaping will come out we call it shaping shaping of the skirt so that the skirt will, will have a, a a fish shape a mermaid shape so I'm going to connect it down there with a straight ruler down on this part. Then from there, I'll bend my hand towards the M line, like so, the way I'm doing it. It's very simple and easy. Just connect it down to the M line, like so. You can see I have managed the fabric two and a half yards. 
I use it to cut a six pieces skirt and you can see it's really lovely. By the time I cut it out, you will see that I've managed the material and um, it is faster and very, very easy. So right now I'll be going on a short break and when I come back, I will do the cutting. So I'll be back shortly. Do you desire to be a professional fashion designer in just a few weeks? Then what are you waiting for? Enroll at Yinki Kuto Academy today. Our online, offline and physical trainings are open in the following classes. Advanced class for 4 weeks, intermediary class 8 weeks and beginner class for 20 weeks. For inquiries, please call 0805-794-4477 or 0903-218-4192. You can equally connect to us on our various social media platforms at Yinki Kuto. Yinki Kuto home of dressmaking techniques welcome back so the cutting commence so cut the center front and back like so and after cutting the center front and back continue with the, the notch the center front and the zipper allowance like so. So we have the center front and the center back. And we can go right away to cut the side panels. You now we have side panels, which are, there are four in number. So I'm going to remove the center front and place it like so to cut, to be able to shape out the, and to get the actual measurement for the side panels so I'm going to place it like so to be able to get the actual measurement for the side panels and after placing it you can adjust it to the measurement so that it won't be longer than each other and you can still check it out if the measurement is there with your tape measure then you can go ahead and cut out And here we have the side panels cut out. You can see it's very lovely. So the side panels, the way I do it here, this is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, as it is in the picture. And this is the this is how you are going to join it together. This is the center front. Notch the mid point of the center front. This is the center front panels. You are going to use two side panels. Join two side panels to this center front. Take one and attach it to one side. And take another side panel and attach it to the other side. Then join it by half inch on your machine. Very simple. As simple as ABC so I'm going to attach it like so and join it together so join it by half inch down to the M line down to the M line and whatever you have done to this side you are going to do to the other side too you are also going to join it by half inch also and I'll go and do the joining and I'll come and show you the result So, what you have done now, you are going to do it to the side panels, to the center back, the center back, which has the zipper allowance. So, the center back, we have two center back. So, just take one side panel and attach it to one of the center back. And this is how you will join it. This is the zipper allowance and this is how you will join it together by half inch also join it down to the hem line join it down to the hem line like so let the joining be straight join it down to the hem line like so and this is the, the center 
front and the side panels. I've joined it together and this is the result. This is the wrong side. You can see I use half inch to join it. So this is the right side. You can see it's very lovely. So feel free to subscribe to my channel to get more of these videos. You can see this is the, the, the center front and the hem line is very wide. See the hem line, you can see the hem line is wide. And this is the back panel. This is the zipper allowance down to the hem line. As you can see, it's very lovely. So we have come to the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe, like and share my videos. Turn on the notification bell to get more of this video and to be the first person to watch my video whenever I upload a new video. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.